currently hiking in two miles. I've got my German Shepherd Cato, my Rottweiler Atlas, and we are going to be camping overnight here, as well as in the morning, we're gonna do a trail run together, 45 minutes. It's gonna be a fun video. I'm gonna be cooking a delicious dinner and a very nutritious breakfast. I just need to get the hike over with. Said, I love your horses. You as well. We made it. Took 55 minutes to do 2.09 miles. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna get the dogs unpacked. Okay. I'm going to go through everything that I packed for this overnight trip. I guess I'll start with the outside of my bag. I've got these, my trail running shoes for tomorrow morning. My cooking kit that has like cutting board, utensils, all of that. Oh. Soaking wet. Journal for writing tonight. All of the food that I'm gonna be cooking. It's 
tent, which takes up 75% of my bag. I need to get a smaller one. Sleeping mattress. Pots and pans. And wrapped up in this jacket. is this Jackery, which is um, charged by solar and can charge my phone while I'm out here. I've never had to charge my phone on a camping trip before, but my phone is getting kind of old and it dies after like four hours. And I need it in order to get directions on the drive home tomorrow. So that's what this is for. And this took up 25% of my bag. Phone charger. Running shorts for the morning. Lighter. Fire starter. And a propane cooking stove. Old rusty axe. Portable speaker. And a saw because I need to make my own wood out here. The sun shouldn't set for another two, or two, two and a half hours, so I'm going to go get all my wood now, and then set up my tent, start my fire, start cooking, and have a good night. Okay. Let's come. Come, come. Tell my girlfriend the other day that starting a fire is like owning a cat. Whenever you want it, it never comes to you. Just like whenever you want to start a fire, it feels like it takes forever to get it going. And whenever you don't want it, it seems impossible to get rid of, AKA 
putting a fire out feels impossible. Starting to lose daylight, so I'm gonna start cooking dinner. I've got the dogs leashed up and tied to the table, so that way um, Atlas is gonna be tempted to come try to get this steak that I'm gonna be cooking, and I don't want him getting burned. Okay, so we've got that butter sizzling real good. What we're gonna be cooking in it is I've got potatoes, asparagus, and this ribeye steak that I'm gonna be cooking. I think I can cook the potatoes and the asparagus at the same time. I've got some seasonings I'm gonna add to them. This is garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, and crushed red pepper. While I wait for my food to cook, I'm gonna go ahead and make the dog's food. I've got their dry food right here in this bag. Each of them are gonna get two, two scoops of kibble. and I got this canned food for them. It is a cana lamb recipe soaked in bone broth. I wanted them to have a little extra protein because we did do a very long hike today up a high elevation gain, as well as we're doing a um, trail run tomorrow morning. So I want them to be as recovered as possible. So I'm gonna sp split this can up evenly between the two. Looks like cafeteria food. And then I'm gonna pour some water on each of these so that way they can continue hydrating.
this. You're fine. You were fine. Okay. Okay. Voila. Hey, here you go. Ready? Can you sit? Sit. Sit. Sit in. Platz. Stay. 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 Can you sit, Kay? Here you go, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Okay, it's getting dark. This is a steak. Give it a quick taste test. I'm trying not to burn my mouth while the camera's rolling. Oh my god. I think it has something to do with the fact that I just hiked so much and I'm exhausted. But that tastes like the best steak I've ever had in my whole entire life. I made the mistake of getting impatient and cooking the potatoes with the asparagus and all of the water from both the canned vegetables made it extremely mushy. With that being said, it's still delicious. Mm. Oh my gosh. I'm in heaven. Okay, I'm gonna enjoy this by myself. How'd you sweep? How did you sweep, huh? How'd you sweep? You sweep good? Did you sweep good? 
That's my guy. That's my guy. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's a good guy. What about you, Tay? Huh? What about you? What about you? How'd you sweep? How'd you sweep last night, huh? That's my guy. Good boy, okay. You sweep good? Yeah? Is that the spot? Is that the spot right there? Oh my gosh. Good morning. Good morning, buddy. I'm gonna eat this. Um, this honey stinger waffle and let it digest for about 30 minutes and then we're going to go for a trail run. I am obsessed with these things. They are like God's gift to runners. Currently trail running. We're trying to knock out 45 minutes this morning. I don't really care what the distance is um, because there's gonna be so much elevation gain. So <clears throat> really the goal on this morning's run is just to have fun, bond with the dogs, get them nice and tired. That way we can go back to camp, cook a, cook a nice breakfast, feed the boys, and uh, pack, up, pack up camp and go home. Five K done with my two favoriteest boys. Atlas, don't dig, don't dig. Cook breakfast, break down camp, and that's a wrap. I didn't want to get the fire started all over again because I would just have to put it out in like 30 minutes. So I'm just being lazy and cooking a turkey kielbasa on the pocket rocket. Alice, watch out. Don't touch the fire. It'll burn you. I cooked a whole turkey kielbasa because whatever I don't eat, I'm just gonna put into the dog's breakfast. And then while they eat and digest, I'll break down camp because I want there to be a window of time between when they eat and when we hike again. Cause I don't want their stomachs to flip or get bloat or anything like that. It's been a nice relaxing morning. All of the people that were camping around me and the boys, um, there's three other campsites and all three of them are gone. They packed up and left uh, within the last hour and a half that me and the boys were on the run. And so I just get to have them off leash now. I don't have to worry about um, them running after other dogs. It's a beautiful day, nice breeze. It's like the most perfect morning to wake up and, and have been camping overnight.
And here is breakfast. Give her the old taste test. One whole turkey kielbasa, half of which will go to my dogs. I had some, um, I had some of those like hash brown patties that you can get from McDonald's. Oh wow, that's hot. I just seared my tongue just by placing it there. Um, I had some of those hash brown patties, but I didn't feel like cooking them. And I didn't want it, I didn't want to eat something super greasy because we're about to hike back. And I just didn't want my stomach to get upset, whatever. Also, my favorite thing to do when I go camping is review instant coffees because they are just all absolutely garbage. They taste terrible. And I just love putting myself through the misery of tasting every single one in the search that one day maybe I might come across one that's actually good. But I will not be doing that in this video because I forgot my um i forgot my cooking cup like the little coffee cup where i can heat water all i have is pots and pans and i've already used all the pots for the dog's food so i can't cook coffee today but in my next camping video i will be reviewing this starbucks dark roast instant coffee and if you've followed along through the video to this point and you know of any instant coffees that you think are good, I will literally buy it just for the purpose of bringing it camping and reviewing it because they're terrible. Okay, here we go. That is still super hot. Mm. Delicious. Um, one of my tips for camping is I love bringing turkey kielbasa. It's small, it's lightweight. You throw it in the freezer for 24 hours before you go camping. That way it's frozen solid and it'll thaw as you are hiking and um, camping. And it'll thaw out by the morning and it makes literally the most perfect breakfast. We got their kielbasa in there. One, two, Alrighty, who's hungry? Who's hungry, huh? You hungry, Atlas? No, no, bro. No, no. You go in the back seat. You go in the back seat. Watch out, buddy. Off. I know. That's a good job, buddy. Okay, that is another trip in the books. It felt really, really good to be back. That was 
me and the dogs first time camping in over a year. We camped in uh, Memorial Day weekend of 2022 and it's like it's June 11th as of today. So it's it's been way too long um, since I've been out there and just been able to spend quality time with them. I was last night um, just phone put away, camera put away, just laying there, blasting the new Noah Kahn deluxe album of Stick Season, laying by the fire. Atlas was on my right, Kato was on my left, both of them just laying down, sleeping on the ground. My head was propped up on a log, and I was just staring up at the stars in the sky, and I mean, I don't mean to sound like melodramatic or anything, but it's just... It was just one of those moments, and I know I know everyone has these moments every once in a while in their life where you just wish you could just hit pause and and live out that moment forever. So it was a great trip. Um, I will be going camping with my girlfriend in a couple weeks, end of June, early July. I think her and I are going to try to get out and go camping. Um, She's in PA school and has exams this week, so she couldn't come this weekend with us. But we will be back out it, and I will be filming it. I'll see you in the next one.